so now we are going to use a tool which is called ARP spoof and it is uh, part of a program which is called dsniff uh, and it is used to run MITM attacks man in the middle attacks so we are going to use ARP spoof to actually uh, uh, do the ARP poisoning or MITM attack so uh, there are two things uh, there are actually three things we are going to do uh, in order to actually spoof the IP so first, first of all we are going to tell the target client that I am the router as I explained in the last video that we are going to tell uh, the, the router that I am the device and then I am going to tell the device that I am the router so we are following the same two steps here so first of all we are going to tell the target client that I am the router and this is the command this is very simple command we just write in the name of the tool uh, the interface and then the target IP, the target IP, and then the IP of the of the machine of the of the of the router actually. So here you can see that we are saying ARP spoof. And then this is my uh, my device in the in the uh, in the manage mode actually. Then the target, then the T, and then the target IP, which is this, and then this is the uh, IP of my AP. In the next step, we tell the AP that I am the target client. So we do uh, the same thing uh, very uh, in the similar manner. You can see that here it is AP IP and then target IP. But in the next step, we are going to just shift those IPs here. So in this step, we are telling the AP that yes, I am the target client. And in the end, what we need to do is we need to enable IP forwarding. Uh, it is like because we are going to be man in the middle so we want uh, we don't want call it Kali to actually drop the packets uh, so so to uh, so to do that we are going to run this command uh, and you can just copy paste it from here so let's get into Kali and see how it is actually done using ARP spoof so every time we try to uh, use a new tool we can just write ARP spoof then the help for it and you can see that it is telling me the usage so it is telling the ARP spoof then the interface and then the target so how we are going to do is I told you we are going to uh, write the name of the tool then WN0 and after that the target so this machine is going to be my target and I can check its IP address from here so it is 192.168.0.105 and this is the uh, IP of my router which is AP so first of all I am going to write 192.168.0.105 which is the, uh, the IP address of my target and then the second thing I am going to do is I am going to write 192.168.0.1 so this is the IP of my target or uh, target a, of my AP actually and this is the IP of my target uh, and I am going to actually split the screen here and I am going to write the same thing again the only thing I am going to do is I am going to just flip the IPs So you can see that both of these commands are pretty similar we have just uh, in this we are going to tell uh, the router that this is the target I am the target device and I am going to tell here a device that I am the target. So uh, another thing I want you to look into is we can say ARPA and this is going to show me the ARP table. So for here you can see that this is the IP of my router. And here you can see that the MAC address here is 90F6526F12 and D2. Let me run another command very quickly where we don't want it to actually drop the packets. So first of all I am going to run these two commands. I press enter and then I press enter here. And then here I am going to paste the IP forwarding command. So, so now you saw here that the IP address 
of the router is this and this is the MAC address of the IP which is saved in the ARP table now I am going to run the ARP table command again and I press enter and you can see that this was the router and the MAC address for it is changed the reason is because we ran the attack and now ARP spoof is actually running and the, and the device which is this device it thinks that I am which is the hacker is the is the is the router actually so we did it just by running two very similar very two uh, simple and similar commands so let me actually show you my I, my my MAC address so here you can see here is my MAC address for WLAN 0 8416F9 and here in the table it is changed so before running the attacks you can see that the MAC address for the IP, uh, for the AP is 90F6F2 but now after running the attack it is 8416F91E200F which is the same MAC address of my machine so now uh, the device the, the device we are attacking thinks that I am the router and router thinks that yes I am uh, the target machine so we uh, did it just by running a very simple uh, simple tool which is ARP spoof uh, and I'm, I just wanted to show you that how we can do ARP poisoning using ARP spoof because it is, a, it is an old tool and it is used uh, a lot so in the next video we are going to look into uh, another tool and we are going to actually use that, that tool in the future uh, it is called MITMF so it is very it is more easy to use it is a terminal based tool uh, but we can uh, we have actually more exposure to things and we can do a lot of more crazy stuff using that tool so see you guys in the next video